sebab mengenangkan bapanya. Perdana Menteri Datuk Seri Muhammad Najib Tun Razak turut berkongsi cerita bahawa bapanya tidak pernah menggalakkan beliau untuk menjadi ahli politik dan mahu beliau berjaya sebagai tokoh korporat. Bagi Allahyarham Tun Abdul Razak, dunia politik yang penuh pancaroba bertentangan dengan sifat pendiam dan tenang Datuk Seri Najib. Allahyarham Tun Abdul Razak merupakan seorang yang kuat bekerja mana menganggap negara dan kerjanya adalah perkara yang lebih utama. Sifat itu membuatkan Perdana Menteri meneruskan perjuangan bapanya dan bertanding di daerah Pekan menggantikan arwah bapanya pada usia 22 tahun. Those are just some of the legacies of Tun Razak leadership. And they've always been in my mind throughout my time in politics. From my days as a young MP, as Menteri Besar Pahang, as a minister, and now as Prime Minister. They have been my inspiration. And as leader of this country, I have strived to continue his work. He laid the foundations. It is for us and for future generations to continue building on them in a way that would make him proud. Mengenang legasi pentadbiran arwah, Datuk Seri Najib menganggap bapanya sebagai sumber inspirasi kepada dirinya dan seluruh rakyat Malaysia. But what I'm sure we can all agree on, and we do not need to be reminded of, is why Tun Razak truly deserves to be known as our Bapa Pemangunan. He gives his life for this country. Today, 40 years after his passing, I stand before you and say, and I'm proud to be his son. And that every day I work to live up to that lineage. He is an example for me and an inspiration for all Malaysians. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.